Now that we've seen the design for our Guessy Game Project Servlet Edition, let's look at how we can set up the project to create the stubs for the component parts. Here we are back in Eclipse, and you can see that I have my Guessing Game JSP only version loaded in the workspace for Eclipse. This is because I'm going to want to use a couple of the components that are currently in the Guessing Game, and I'm going to show you how we can include that in our new project. But let's go ahead and create the new project, which is going to be primarily server based. We'll do the exact same things that we did to create the JSP version at the beginning. So we go to the File menu, select New, and then we're looking for Dynamic Web Application. You can see on my list it's not loaded here. I'm going to Other. I'm going to scroll down in the Other dialog to select the item that I want and look for the Web folder. And under the Web folder I can see I can select Dynamic Web Project. So I'm going to hit Next need to give my project a name. Sticking with a similar name to what we used before, I'm going to call this one Guessing Game Servlet Version. Make sure my runtime is like I need it for my system. We're using the Java 2 EE Preview Server, which comes with Eclipse. Change that if you're using Tomcat or some other. And that one works only if you have Dynamic Web Module Version up to 2.5. Be sure it's set there. If it's set to 3, you're going to have problems. The rest of this page looks OK. I'm going to select Next. Source folder, still a good place to keep my Java classes. In this particular project, we'll end up with two Java classes, our game number class and a servlet. And next we see that the content directory is set to web content. So that's where I'm going to put all of my web-related assets. JSPs, HTML files, CSS, JavaScript will all go here, and images. And you notice it's still checked. It's going to generate the web.xml file, which is also known as the deployment descriptor. Over in the Project Explorer, I see that the project has been created. If I expand that view, I see there's the deployment descriptor a folder for the source files, a folder for web content, and of course we have our libraries in the build folder as before. Let's revisit our design diagrams for a moment to see the components that we want to create. Here we see we need to have an index.jsp file, a game servlet, and our game number class diagram. Of course the game number class diagram is Java, so it's going to be stored somewhere within the source folder. We'll create a package to hold it there. The index.jsp, as before, will be stored in the web content folder. But what about game servlet? It's going to include both Java and provide the view, which will include HTML. But unlike JSP, which goes in the web content, game servlet is a special type of Java class. So we'll also need to put it with our other Java classes in the source folder. So three components we're going to create at least the files for. Two of these actually come from our JSP program, so we can bring them in and then alter them as needed later. So back in Eclipse, let's see how we can get to two that we're going to reuse. Let's open up our guessing game with JSP. See under Java Resources, under the source file, I have a game stuff package, and I have the game number .java. Let's show you, let me show you one way we can add that to our new project. Right click on Java Resources and hit New, and let's create the package. As before, we'll call that Game Stuff, and Finish. So that's the place we're going to put it. Just to reiterate, the goal is to import the game number.java class, which exists currently in our JSP-only version, into our new project under the Game Stuff package. Right-click on the Game Stuff package in our new project, and select Import. Here, choose File System. We don't want to get an existing project. We're going to get one file out of that existing project. Select File System and hit Next. Under Browse, let's find the directory we're going to get it from. Notice we're already in my workspace, so I'm going to dig down into the Guessing Game JSP only version, into the Source folder, and select the Game Stuff folder. That selects the directory we're getting it from. If I select that directory, I can see a list on the right window of all the files that are in there. Since there's only one, I will select that. Double check. Yeah, it will override existing resources without warning. Be sure you uncheck that if necessary. In this case, we don't have any existing resources in the destination package, so we'll just leave that. 
and let's hit finish. Now you see in the Project Explorer window that game stuff package includes game number dot Java class. I can double click on it to verify and as it opens we can see that it is created. The other existing resources that we want to reuse and then edit a little bit will be the index.jsp from our previous project. So let's move to JSP only version in the Project Explorer. So let's open up web content and we see under here we have two JSPs, index.jsp and game.jsp. Now the game JSP is the one we're going to replace with the servlet, but let's reuse the index.jsp. An alternative way, other than importing, is to do it within the Project Explorer. Let's right click on index.jsp and pick copy. Now down in our new project, let's right click on web content folder and choose paste. Now you should see the index.jsp has been added to our new project. And to clean up a little bit, we can now close our JSP project. Our current stub for our guessing game servlet version has two of our three components. In the game stuff package we have our game number dot Java class and in web content we have index.jsp. All that remains is to create the file for the game servlet component. Now recall a servlet is a Java class. So think a moment, where is that going to be put? If you thought about Java resources, then you're correct. Let's create a package first to put that in. Right click on Java resources and new. Let's pick package. I'm going to call this one controllers. There will only be one, but controllers is a good generic word for this type of package. This is where we'll put any controllers for our application. Right click on controllers pick new and now we're going to pick a servlet. Notice mine is listed here. If yours is not listed go to other, navigate to the web folder and you'll find servlet listed there. As with JSPs the dialogues are very important that we take our time and fill them out correctly. In fact they may even be more important that we take our time with servlets because there are more things that need to be set up for us. Let's give this a class name we saw from our diagrams that we're going to just call it game servlet. As you notice it's already going to be stored in controllers because we right clicked. Notice it's going to have a superclass. means it's going to inherit from the main servlet class that's available in the Java library. Let's hit next. Create servlet here allows us to enter any type of description or information, initialization parameters, URL mappings and so forth for the game servlet. We're going to change a couple things on here. Description. A servlet to control our guessing game. So that script will be posted in the configuration file. Let's change something else. The URL mapping. A URL mapping is how can we call this from an HTML page with an HTML link, a tag, an action parameter, so forth. What are we going to put in there? I usually like to change this to show you, you can, but we could just accept game servlet. That means in the action of our index we would need to put slash game servlet as the action item for what to run next when the user clicks on submit. Let's edit this one though. Edit. Be sure you keep the slash. We'll call this one do guess. So in our action we're going to want to put do guess in order for it to run the servlet when they click on the submit button. Let's hit next, see what's there. Most of these we're going to leave as default, but you can look around to see that there are various things we could change. Notice in particular a do post and a do get method. We recall from our talks about JSP that a get sends a request over HTTP to the server and data that goes along with the request, some of that is added as parameters and concatenated to the URL. With do post, again a request is sent to the server, but the data that is added as parameters is hidden. But both of those represent types of requests that could be made on the server. As you'll see, the do get method or the do post method will run depending on which method we use to make the request. I'm going to leave them both so we'll see them listed here. Now hit finish. If we expand the controllers package, we can see that we've added the game servlet class. And if we double click on the game servlet.java tab, we can expand it to kind of get a quick look that a lot of code has been added for us 
inside of the game servlet. We'll explore this code when we get around to making the actual game servlet work for our project. We'll stop here for now and later videos we will be creating that servlet to give it the same functionality and we'll be editing very slightly the index.jsp. This has been a Piercy production.